Hello, crew. I have been deathly sick the last three days. Not deathly sick. I've had a bad cold. You can probably tell in my voice. Um, by the end of Thanksgiving, I had completely lost my voice. I was unable to speak at all, and everyone was incredibly happy about that. Um, but yeah, and yesterday I was just wiped out. I actually I, I had this video up and ready to to edit and I just didn't have the energy to do it. Sarah said I looked gray and my face felt like it was gonna explode and I basically didn't do anything. Slept 10 hours last night, feel better today. We'll see how long that lasts. Anyway, we had 20 people for Thanksgiving. Um, it was a wonderful time, regardless of not feeling well. Actually, I didn't feel that horrible on Thanksgiving day. I just lost my voice. So you asked about Gareth and Heidi and how they're doing. You may notice this video is public and that's because this weekend was the big reveal to the whole family. So yes, Gareth and Heidi are expecting a child and now we don't have to hide it. Isn't that excellent? And now you say hi to Uncle Carew. Hello, Uncle Carew. He keeps asking about you. Oh. Yeah. Did I tell you I had to set that video yeah. to yeah. Yeah. private? <laughs> yes. So, yes. So, but, but after this weekend, it yeah, can be public, can, right? Yeah, yes. there you go. Yes. So you want to tell him how you're doing, Heidi? Because he asks. He's like, how's Heidi doing? How am I doing? Yeah, well, I'm about to hurl my cookies every 20 minutes, but it's fine. Yeah. That's good. Can't ask for more than that. It's a good thing, actually. Yeah. So, yeah, they're doing well. Um, you asked about Sarah and I leaving them if we go to Wales for six months. And honestly, both Sarah and I kind of feel like the first year of the baby's life um, is sort of the least impactful for grandparents. I mean, maybe we're wrong, but we felt like, you know, the, the child isn't, I mean, the way that it depends on who's raising the child and what they're doing with it. But, you know, Sarah basically had her kids with her the whole first year and didn't want to hand them off to somebody else, particularly. And so we feel like maybe um, that first year is going to be the best the best time to go if we're going to go at all. Because after that, the child becomes more and more sentient, as the case may be, and uh, you get more attached to it. I mean, the, the child develops a personality and everything. And it's true over the first year that does happen. But um, we figured if we're going to do this at all, this is the time to do it. So that's our thought on that. Um, you talked about off his dike. I think hiking off his dike would be a fun thing. Um, I don't think there's many people who do it. If we did it together, we'd probably want to do it in the spring because we'd more likely be more likely to run into more uh, other hikers, more other hikers, whatever. Um, so that would be the time to, to actually do that if we we're going to do it. Uh, it's not like the Camino uh, where there's thousands and thousands of people who do it. There's just a kind of a small number of people who do it every year. So it's not quite the same. <clears throat> um, so Sarah and I actually have been looking at places and we found a couple places in Carnarvon, which is the, if you look up Carnarvon, um, it's a cool, you know, it's the, it's the center of, of the English invasion, the Edwardian invasion of Wales. So that's pretty cool. Um, so Sarah's actually looked at a couple places and I think she's going to actually contact them. So we may be nailing down our dates fairly soon for that, which is kind of exciting. Um, you can see here in this video that the kids were all playing this game. I don't even know what game they were playing. They played a number of games, but they were having a great time, which was, which was cool. I love having all the kids at our house for Thanksgiving. It's, it's the best. Anyway, um, you talked about religion a little bit in the last video, and maybe I'll make a whole nother video about that. Um, because I think... <laughs> I think in the references that you made, um, you're talking about the hard thing about feeling judged by people in a religion where, where you choose to make decisions that go counter to those religious beliefs and you feel like people are judging you. And people tend to be really harsh about judging other people. And I think that's totally true and I think it's true with religion, but I also think it's true now you see that. And I, To me, that's fundamentalism, right? And that's fundamentalism is the problem more than religion and you see fundamentalism in political correctness you see fundamentalism in science you see some fundamentalism in politics you see fundamentalism in economics and you know the original fundamentalism was really religion I think uh, 
you know, obviously it's most prevalent historically, but as religion is less of a powerful source in our society, you see that same fundamentalism in other areas of thinking where people develop uh, cognitive frameworks with it in which they make sense of the world. And then they're completely <clears throat> unforgiving of other people's perspectives. And they basically say, well, if you don't do X, you're a bad person. And that's what we see with political correctness and politics and even uh, economics. So anyway, that's my story. I'm sticking to it. Talk to you more later. Bye.